include everything. Alright guys, we're back in uh, Code Academy. We're doing re Introduction React JS Part 1. Uh, the component. Let's go ahead and get started here. So, what are we trying to do? Basically, it, it's going over the fact that you don't actually put in just pure HTML or variables. You actually break your code up, your React code up into components. So, you'll see right here an example where we're setting a variable equal to a react.create class <laughs> and then remember our render we're actually just going to go ahead and render that out now what it wants us to do here is carefully copy the example code into app.js app we've already done that so let's go ahead and run that real quick you'll see we have our require react require react down this is basically just requiring some react libraries we're creating a variable here then we're creating a class this is our component right here we're pa passing in render which is a function which returns some stuff and then right here we're actually passing in that component so it's a, still the same thing the stuff that we want to display and the location that we want to display it at now we're just kind of doing it in components so we're going to go into new js here and uh, it's going over what is actually going on on with this require react so here we're just creating a variable called var uh, called react and we're going to say look this is re required and what's required is the react the react right here so excuse me um, it's basically going to let our J JSX work that's basically what's going on right now very cool so we're gonna go to line two here uh, we're gonna do the same thing except this is gonna allow the Dom to work with react that's basically what these lines are good now to me it's a little bit weird that we're doing it like this because uh, we've been using this so so often I think maybe just to hit it with like hey why are we doing this before we do this might be the better way of doing it but if you want a little bit more detail it, it goes into it right here but basically it's just two requirements to make sure that our react works one is for uh, specifically the DOM what we're importing right now so, so now we're gonna create a component class now this is how you a component is nothing more than kind of a class or a group of stuff maybe, maybe you'll have like a footer component or a header component or what, whatever it may be for whatever it is you're looking to change or do so let's go ahead and jump in on line four and we're going to create a variable here uh i think we can actually just create it like this react.create class and it doesn't want us to pass in any arguments yet we may have to store it in a variable i don't think so though There we go. Now, you'll see here that this hat passes in an object that takes a render and function and returns something. Uh, render is gonna be pretty much a key of every component. <coughs> Excuse me. So you'll have to be using that quite often. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and take that component that we created and store it in a variable. So we'll call it a var mine component class. We're gonna set it equal to the component class or we haven't actually done anything with it quite yet now uh, note that when you're naming class names you actually are gonna do do it in upper camel camel case meaning the, the your first letter is gonna be capitalized following by each adi additional word now this goes over what we learned so on line one we learned that uh, this saves a JavaScript object in your file which contains the methods to make react work such as create element create a class line two we learned that this uh saves another javascript object that deals with making sure the dom works line four this is how we create a new component class um and that that's basically what we did right here what we did the last uh, few pages kind of went into a little bit more detail now we're gonna go ahead and uh, pass in the component 
component class that we're using uh, via create class. And it goes into some details here as well. As well. So let's go ahead and select uh, new JS. So make some lines in between var react. Oh. All right, so they want us to create a new variable. We're gonna go ahead and call this component blueprint. And we wanna set it equal to an empty object. Excuse me. Oh, I think I spelt that wrong. Uh, right now we're just creating an empty vari variable. Next up in this empty, in this component blueprint object, we want to then pass in the re render with an empty function to our to our object. Let's go ahead and run that real quick. And then finally, we want our render function to do some stuff. So what do we want it to do? We simply want it to output hello hello world. And then in our react create class, in our uh, my my component class, we want what happened here? Oh, don't forget to re return it as well. And then we're just gonna go ahead and pass in the component blueprint like so. And of course, make sure that you're a much better speller than myself. Now normally you wouldn't do this. You would actually just go ahead and pass in the the object as itself without naming it. But it's a little bit cleaner when you're getting used to it to see it like like this. And that's what it's basically going to tell us right now is that um, go ahead and jump in our new JS file. And it's basically saying that you don't you wouldn't normally pass in it like a variable like we did before. Instead, what we would what we would do, and it looks like for some reason it didn't reset. But instead, what we would do is take this, we take this like so, and we'd pass in everything into here or everything into our component class. So, sorry guys, I'm uh, my my wisdom teeth medication is making me have the hiccups a little bit. So what we want to do here is uh, carefully cut the object component blueprint. Oh, it's not here. So that's why that's why I'm going a little. Oh, what happened to our thing? So carefully cut the object component blueprint. Oh. Leave our component is equal to it's. That's what's so weird. It's not here. We don't need to cut it. All right. So. Um, <laughs> And then what it wants us to do is instead pass in our component class right here, which uh, like it in the example. So it's just going to be React DOM. Is that capitalized? Yes, it is. React DOM. Dot render. What do we want to pass in? Uh, to let it know that it's a component, we pass it in like this, and then we just pass in my component <laughs> class, comma, and then document. And uh, we can go ahead and pass it in where, where it's going to be. We're just document dot get element by ID app. So just real quick, this is our component class, and you're letting the the React DOM know it's a component with this um, like HTML looking uh, brackets, and then we're passing it to the location. So what we're changing, or what application we're implementing, or what component and then where where we're doing it oh there we go so 
misspelling, man. It's, it's a struggle. Oh my god, I spelled it. I misspelled it again. There we go. And then I believe we already did this, but uh, you just pass in the location as well. So basically what you really need to take away from this is how com components work and that uh, you're going to create classes a lot like this with, and they're usually going to have render, um, a little bit more detail about React and React DOM, and then this is how you pass in components moving forward. Um, so as always guys, hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and special thanks to you who support me on Patreon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. It helps out a ton and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed it. And a special thanks to you who support me on Patreon. And if you're a recent college student or a recent college grad, go ahead and go to wayup.com for part-time, full-time, and internships. And a special thanks to CodeMentor.io for sponsoring the React course, which you can get to in the suggested video session. It's the first two hours of a four-part series I'll be doing, led by a React professional and some really good stuff. See you guys next time.